Good morning and welcome to our last market update video of 2023. Thankfully, this year has been a much better year for equity markets than last year. In fact, this week, the Dow Jones Industrial Average hit a new record high. Here's the five-year chart and you can see it's had a decent rally over the last month and it's just gone above that previous high that it hit in early 2022. So it's really nice to be ending the year on a positive note. The main reason for this is that the US has made very good progress in tackling inflation, and as a result, interest rates are expected to come down next year. Here's inflation over 10 years. It's come down a lot from that peak that it hit in the middle of 2022, and it's now 3.1%, not too far above its target rate. Here's a reminder of what US interest rates have been doing. They've risen from 0.25% in 2021 to 5.5% currently. And you can see they've stayed at their current level for three consecutive months now, with the latest decision to leave them on hold being announced earlier this week. Markets have risen a fair bit since the announcement, and the main reason was an update to the Federal Reserve's dot plot. This is created by asking each voting member of the Federal Reserve where they expect rates to be by the end of this year, next year, the year after, and the longer term. The answers are recorded as dots on this chart here. The previous dot plot implied that rates would fall by 0.25% next year, but the latest one suggests they'll go down by 0.75%, which was taken very positively by markets. Some investments are much more sensitive to interest rate changes than others. As we talked about in this video previously, bonds with a very long time until maturity can be particularly sensitive to changes. Their prices tend to rise a lot when interest rates are falling, and their prices tend to fall when interest rates are rising. Some investments are referred to as bond proxies because investors treat them in a similar way to bonds. An example of these are utility companies. They're treated like bonds because their share prices are expected to be fairly steady and they pay out fairly good streams of income. Here's the chart for American Waterworks, a US water utility. You can see that the price went up a lot when interest rates were low and came down when they rose. It's bounced a bit recently as interest rate expectations have fallen. A change in interest rate direction is a good reason to review portfolios, and New Year is a great time to do this. So do give us a call if you'd like to talk about a potential portfolio review. And finally, one of the big investment themes for this year has been so-called reshoring. Companies have been trying to reduce the risk of globalization by bringing production back closer to home or to home itself. As a result, Mexico has overtaken China to become America's biggest trading partner. Here's a chart showing America's imports since 1985. Imports from China in the purple have fallen dramatically, and Mexico in pink has just crept ahead. In terms of exports, the US is sending much more to Canada and Mexico than to China. If we combine exports and imports, Mexico is just about in the lead. The US, Mexico and Canada now account for about one third of overall global GDP, and the trade between these countries is trending upwards. One company that is well positioned to benefit is Canadian Pacific Kansas City, a railroad company that links these countries together. Do get in touch if you'd like to hear more about this business. Moving on to have a look at next week, the final week before Christmas, we are expecting results out from Accenture and Nike. So we hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and we look forward to seeing you in 2024.